Welcome to Ward's Jew. Yeah. Good to be here. Yes. <laughs> Funny water. You? Yeah, you're wet. I'm, I'm alright. I'm pretty good at this. It's a spontaneous evening. Yeah. You know it's going to be a fantastic trip, but right, when one person says I want a mojito, and then everyone's like, yeah, I'll do one of them. Someone <laughs> says I want a sea bass. Yeah, I don't want it. Do you want a drink, Stu? Are you having one? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, alright. Newest crew member, Stuart. I don't know if you guys remember him, but he was on board of us for Marseille from the UK to Gibraltar last year. He's, he hopped on board in Malaga and now he's with us until Christmas for a while. He's doing the Ark with us and staying a few weeks in the Caribbean, which will be good fun. We're currently 21 miles out from Gibraltar, sailing down. Well, we're motoring at the moment. The winds are picking up now, which we're expected. So we'll put the uh, light wind sail out in a minute. And yeah, we're, uh, it's nice to be back on board. I was just saying, this is probably the most settled I've been because every time we've come back on board before, I've always had the date that we were going to leave. But now we've got no date to leave. We're literally back on board for as long as we want to be now. So uh, I'm excited. Here he is. Okay, it's uh, going to be good fun. Two months of just chilling, sailing, exactly, eating nice food. Yeah, I'm up catching for that. fish. Well, yeah, maybe. Hopefully, <laughs> the rod's in the water, but we haven't caught anything yet. Walk across the airport. What should do? Everyone, we've all gone out for a night out, which has been lovely. But I've still got work to do, so. Stamped, Stamped out. Stamped out of Spain now. Official. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Nerve wracking, innit? All the time. Yeah. yeah. Chilled out. Yeah. You look pretty chilled. Yeah. 
So we have just left Jib. How long, how long were we in Jib? Three or four days? We were in Jib for four days. Queensway didn't let us in, so we went to Alcadessa, Al which is a fantastic marina, isn't it? Absolutely. Was yeah, good. really friendly. Yeah, very good. Yeah. We've given up with Queensway. As much as we like it there, we're going to go to Alcadessa from now on. They made us feel welcome. They did. They did. They were very good. So now we're currently in the straits, dodging orcas. We think they've migrated north now. We well, hope so. Yeah. We'll let you know in an hour. Or so. so yeah, that's basically us. We've got our new sail flying away and just cruising at four knots. We're loving life. What are our estimates of getting to Manzo? Oh. I think. Four and a half. Four, four and a half, half days. I can say that. Okay, I'm going to say. Say four. I'm going three. I'm going three point <laughs> something. I'm gonna go point eight. Three point eight. I don't know how many hours that is. <laughs> and the loser buys the beer. The loser buys the beer. last night we left a little bit later than we wanted we didn't really catch the tide properly so we were punching tide most of the night which wasn't convenient because we wanted to get out the Gibraltar Straits as soon as possible to prevent orcas attacking the boat but we've done that which was fine we uh, yeah we got out no problems <laughs> at one point when I was sitting at the helm these uh, dolphins come over to the boat and uh, Literally, I saw the fin and it was getting dark and I was like, oh no, I didn't tell anybody. And luckily they were dolphins and not orcas. But uh, yeah, we think that the orcas have migrated north now. So, Broughter Strait should be all right. If you don't know, orcas have been tacking boats literally on the Atlantic coast of Portugal, southern Spain, like Bay of Biscay and round Cadiz. But anyway, we got out of the straits, nice. We was flying last night, we were doing like 10 knots at one point and the winds died down a little bit which again was forecasted, thanks, windy and predict wind. So we've got our Iridium Go going which is tracking our position and giving us some weather updates. First night, all okay. We've got the bad boy sail out. Jay at the moment is sleeping on the trampolines. Stuart's just gone down for an afternoon nap. Yeah, I'm just reading my book. Enjoying life, really. We're trying to catch up with a... I think that's a cat man at the end called Image. And they left about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours before we did yesterday. And we're catching them. So, we're racing. We caught a fish this morning as well, but it was a bit too small, so we threw it back. Day one. Just so... Just, just listen. Other than the window squeak, which is squeaked that squeak. Other than that, which has started squeaking again, which I'm going to repair. Let's listen to the noise.
12.36 in the morning. I'm doing the first shift, 12 till 3. We've been doing quite well, averaging about seven knots. Um, and we've only got about 11 knots of wind, so it's not too bad. But there's been loads of boats that aren't on the AIS that I've just been keeping an eye out and dodging. We've still got 100% fuel, which makes a change. Still got quite a lot to go. I'm loving it. Got 20 minutes left, so good night. that between all three of us we can make battered fish and chips. Well, yesterday we decided we wasn't going to fish today because we've already caught a fish but the talk of fish and chips has made us all want to fish again so we're going to catch dinner. I've definitely up the fishing game since last year. I've got a, um, a new rule it's called it's called the four five rule. You've got to sail at four or five knots between four and five p.m. and you'll catch a fish. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Stewart Outs Gourmet Cuisine. No, not Fred. What's his name? Fred Gordon G. Gordon G. Gordon G. Like that. <laughs> Welcome to Alfie Jay and Stew's Gourmet Lunch. We can go ding, 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 Ready? Yeah. Oh, it's doing it itself. <laughs> nice. That looks really good. Hey, don't get that meat. Mm. They look like steaks. They like do. Steaks. What else is good? No washing up. Go on, Jay. Sure. You're meant to move it to the middle, then strike. <laughs> 